I just got to the hospital. I'm in the parking deck. I typically arrive between 9 and 10, depending on how many EEGs I have to read in the morning. Hi guys, NeuroGal here. Today I thought I'd talk about something a little bit different. I thought I'd go over uh, what it exactly it is that I do. Uh, to those that subscribe to me, you probably already know that I'm a neurologist. Uh, I'm a physician who takes care of people with brain disorders. I thought I would delve into exactly what I do in a little more detail. So neurologists or MDs or DOs, they're physicians that take care of people who are affected by uh, different brain disorders, uh, including epilepsy, stroke, headaches, dementia, like Alzheimer's disease, autoimmune encephalitis, neuropathy, multiple sclerosis, and other diseases that affect the nervous system. For those of you who are interested in pursuing a career in neurology or in medicine, I thought I'd give you uh, an account of what a day is like in the life of a neurologist like me. So the way that the modern healthcare system is set up um, neurologists have the opportunity to be full-time outpatient clinic neurologists or full-time inpatient neurologists. They, they take care of only patients in the acute hospital setting. Those are called neurohospitalists. Neurologists who focus on outpatient care take care of people in the non-acute setting and neurohospitalists take care of people with acute neurological disease such as acute stroke in which the neurologist can give the patient a clot busting agent that can actually break up the clot causing the stroke or for instance take care of other neurological emergencies like uh, seizures. So I'm somewhat of a hybrid. I take care of patients both in the outpatient clinic setting but also in the hospital setting. My specialty of focus is epilepsy and seizure disorders. So a few weeks out of the month I work in the clinic taking care of mostly people with epilepsy. Uh, but then one week out of every month, I strictly work in the hospital as the official reader of brainwave studies called electroencephalograms or EEGs. EEGs detect seizures in patients who are admitted in the hospital who are suspected to have seizures. Uh, a lot of people think that seizures are just the violent shaking uh, that you see in movies or TV shows, but seizures can be a lot more subtle and can be very difficult to identify without an EEG. So that's my job. We hook electrodes up to people's heads and then we monitor people's brainwaves. I just got to the hospital. I'm in the parking deck. I typically arrive between nine and 10, depending on how many EEGs I have to read in the morning. So yes, I do still have a backpack. I'm a nerd, but I have two computers that I have to carry around, so yeah. EEGs are ordered throughout the entire hospital from the internal medicine wards and patients who are altered for no apparent reason. EEGs are also ordered in the ICU, usually for people who have had traumatic brain injuries or comatose patients who are just not waking up. I am the physician who reads the EEGs for the entire hospital and if I notice an abnormality in an EEG, for instance, I see a seizure, I inform the primary team taking care of the patient and make recommendations about medic medication management to help stop the seizures. Um, I also read EEGs on patients who are suspected to be brain dead. So this is essentially what I do as a neurologist who specializes in clinical uh, neurophysiology and seizure disorders. I hope you found this to be informative, even if you're not interested in going into neurology. If you've been a patient or have had a family member that's been a patient for a neurologist, I hope this gives you a little more insight into the life of uh, their doctor. Have a great day and we will catch you next time.